Good morning, friends. I got something that I got to say to you guys today. This has been, I don't know, rolling around on the inside of me for a while. And I've wanted to tell you this. And I just get concerned that you're going to misunderstand, right? There's a lot of misunderstanding going around these days. But today, I'm just fired up. It's just in there and I need to say it. Y'all know that I am compassionate. I'm empathetic. I feel what you feel when we talk. You know, when you ask me to pray for you, I'll cry because I feel those things. I feel your pain. And I don't ever want you to think that I don't understand that life is hard and that we go through some unfair things. Listen, I get that. I know and I want you to be happy and I want you to have joy in your life. And so I think maybe that's why I haven't said this to you. But I started to think this morning that if I really want you to have joy, I would tell you this because I know that in my own life, this is how I got to a place where I live with great joy. I preach all the time that there are three things that you need to do. If you want to be closer to God, if you want your life to be different, you want to live different, there are three things that you need to do. You need to read the word, right? But it goes even beyond that. I'm not talking about your daily scripture from you version. Listen, that's good. And that is an amazing place to start. And if you don't even do that, do that first. But I'm talking about putting the word down on the inside of you. The Bible tells us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when you read the Bible, say it out loud. Read the word out loud so that you hear it and it goes down on the inside of you like a deposit in a bank. And beyond that, listen to teachings. Listen to podcasts by preachers and teachers that you know you can trust. Sound doctrine, right? Find those people. Who are they? I listen to Michael Todd. I listen to Lisa Bevere. I listen to Dr. Darius Daniels. I listen to a lot of preachers and teachers that I have followed and I trust. And I listen every single day, you guys, not to all of them, right? But there are a few that I listen to each week. And so it fills up my day each week, all the days of the week. If you're putting what the world has to offer you inside of you more than you're putting the word of God in there, you're going to get what the world has to offer. If you watch the news and you watch you know, sitcoms and whatever. I don't even know what's on TV anymore. If you're watching all of that, if you're feeding yourself what's on social media more than you feed yourself the word of God, that's what you're going to get is what the world has to offer, not what eternity has to offer. The second thing I preach is that you need to pray. You got to talk to God, but you also need to sit quietly before him and listen to what he has to say. And we often hear God through, mostly through the Bible, sometimes through what other people are saying. So listening to teachings is one of the ways God's going to speak to you too. And the third thing is that you need to worship. And I'm talking about really worship. Because what worshiping is, it's, it's expressing our love for him. It's expressing how grateful we are for what he has done for us in our lives, what, who he is. It's adoring our Savior. We need to pour ourselves out at his feet and tell him, God, we love you. God, I'm grateful for who you are. I'm grateful for who you've made me to be in you. We got to tell him that daily. Put the word in pray and talk to him and worship him. Listen, if you want something different than what you have right now, you got to do something different. You got to go after him. 
as we draw near to him, he draws near to us. So I just want to encourage you today. Do these things. Do them daily. Don't let your focus be what the world has for you. Let it be what God has for you. And I'm telling you, this time next year, your life is going to look different. You want a different life. Do something different. And next year, your life is going to be way different than it is right now. And if you want to change the world too, not just your own life, but the lives of those around you, go tell someone else. Go teach someone else what I'm teaching you right now. And we can have a different world, you guys. We can. It starts right here. Have a great day.